My name is Barbara Eisworth. I'm the founder and coordinator for Ishkashita Refugee Harvesting Network. Ishkashita means working cooperatively together in Mai Mai, one of the main languages of the Somali Bantu refugees. After returning from Malawi, where I did my dissertation work, and seeing people that um, experienced a hunger period every year or practically every year, I decided that I needed to do something about the food that was going to waste in Tucson. Thousands of beautiful fresh fruits, navel oranges, were falling on the ground and connecting the people that could use these fruits, such as Somali Bantu refugees, and the people that have excess fruits has been uh, the first aim in helping refugees uh, here and that's where Ishkashita Refugee Harvesting Network grew out of. In the 1800s, Arab slave traders invaded Southeast Africa and took Somali Bantu people from their homes to work on plantations in Somalia. Over time, they escaped slavery and established their own farms in southern Somalia. Ethnic discrimination contributed to the disaster that came to Somali Bantu villages during Somalia's civil war in the early 1990s. Bands of gunmen invaded Somali Bantu villages, stealing crops and murdering thousands of people. Those that survived fled and made their way to refugee camps in Kenya. When we initially see these refugees, like I was saying, that they are a lot, a lot of them are malnourished. They have not had a, a balanced meal. And the nutrition for most of these uh, refugees is most, mostly like starches and carbohydrates. So I feel that your organization is really going out of its way to help in doing the harvesting of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds of these things and bringing them to the homes and involving them to harvest. Mm -hmm. And um, so they feel part of it, so they don't feel that they're giving, given handouts, they feel part of it. It was quickly uh, identified that refugees needed a lot more than just fresh fruit. So from there, we've started to help um, in whatever area is necessary. H H I I J. The volunteers have K stepped up to the plate to do tutoring. L -M -M. O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. <laughs> to take them to farmers markets and different um, festivals. All these activities help get the refugees out and helps educate Tucson about refugees. And we decided we should really look at this, the skills that the Somali Bantu brought to the United States. All the women are, are beaders. They uh, know how to bead beautiful work. Last Sunday, we went to sell beads. So this is the money from last Sunday. So there's, should we count? You count for me. Lavata, 20. 20. 20. Very good. 25. All right, good deal. Thank so, you. And it's just a matter of connecting the resources and people interested in helping the refugees develop these skills as cottage industries here in Tucson. Have you seen one of these before? Nope, I haven't. This is his instrument, the charera, and we're looking to replace the strings on it. You said a little thicker, that's why I figured. Okay. okay. Good. Yeah? Good. Okay. <laughs> so 515, let me see if I have it. Welcome to America. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Barbara has opened up and offered the members of our church all these opportunities to, to be involved in, in whatever level they can. 
about us a guy that I'm the Gorgoria Kakoma. And they shoot the gun, and you're gonna die. They're not good. For me, when I think about the time I spend with the Somali Bantu families, I still feel quite overwhelmed just thinking about their history. I'm just in awe of the people who have come from so far and through so much chaos and have witnessed so much horror and somehow have held it together to get themselves out of that and get themselves here. I feel like I'm honored to, to witness that kind of resilience. I've done the harvesting project with Barbara and that was my first job ever and I had a blast. I don't know what life would be like if I hadn't been volunteering with Somali Bantus because I've had so much fun. When someone expresses an interest in volunteering, Barbara comes with a wide range of possibilities and then really listens to what they want to do. I would want to encourage Tucson citizens to think about how valuable an experience is at your doorstep in working with a grassroots organization like Ishkashita. You can learn so much from them in terms of intercultural exchange and what it's like in different parts of the world. And they're coming over here and your friendship makes such a huge difference. I would highly recommend it. It's been wonderful for me. <laughs> this is your invitation. Come join Ishkashita Refugee Harvesting Network and we can harvest the skills, the love you have to give in this community. Contact us, call us, find us on the web.